Hi everyone, so this is going to be the start of the horse shopping journey. Um, so today is May 17th, I believe, and it's finally the day that I'm going to talk to my trainer about starting to look for a horse. I'm kind of nervous, excited obviously, but I don't know, it just seems surreal that this day is finally coming and I really hope that it goes well and that I'm still like able to and everything. I can't see like why I wouldn't be able to, but obviously if you're seeing this vlog then it went well so yeah that's my first update and i'm super excited to start this journey so i will let you all know how it goes Yay. okay so i'm back from the barn it's still tuesday may 17th um first off my lesson went really well uh we did like two nine to three foot courses I would say which was fun we did some equitation courses and just like had fun and then I helped out with um some of the beginner lessons just like helping like untack and taking them for walks and things like that which was a lot of fun but I showered and I'm laying here on my couch I also got Applebee's as like a celebratory meal fun fact and I'll tell you what we're celebrating in a second but I love Applebee's to death I don't know why I just really love Applebee's so I got that um anyway so the reason you're all here so i did talk to my trainer and it went super duper well she made an in search of post to post like on facebook to start looking for some horses and immediately one of um another trainer i'm assuming that she knows commented and has nine horses available that all fit my range and stuff which is crazy and super exciting um i'd say there's more geldings um i think there's like a filly um but yeah, so she's getting more information on all of them and then she's going to send them over, which is crazy because one of those horses could be my horse and I'm super excited. I did see that there is a bay gelding listed. I don't know what any of them look like. I don't know much about them yet. I know that there is one that is um, unraced. So I think I'll talk about this in a, in a different video or probably... Um, yeah, I'll probably talk about this in a different video. I know I've brought it up as I've been going along, but I guess just a brief rundown of what I'm looking for is um, no breed specifications, but it'll most likely end up being an off-the-track thoroughbred or just like a thoroughbred in general that was unraced because that fits my budget and I've worked with them before. So um, there's that. And then I also am not requiring like it to be restarted off of the track or anything. So um just like walk trot canner will probably be where we start like not started over fences or anything um the age range that i'm looking for is like three to eight um nothing younger than three nothing over eight probably depending on the horse i can stretch and be flexible for both of those requirements um i'm trying to think like what else height i don't really have like a requirement the range that i would like to stick to is anything between like 15 hands to 16 hands um somewhere in between there but I'm open to bigger or smaller depending on the horse and preferably barefoot or I'm hoping to get the horses to be barefoot eventually or have it be just have front shoes just to keep costs down and everything and color I don't have any specifications but you all know that I love my bays white bays dark bays I really love dark bays so we'll see and then yeah kind of like I mentioned mare or gelding really just depends on their personality and their mindset um so yeah i'm excited i will keep you all updated it's so surreal i've definitely happy cried like a lot already um just because it's kind of crazy to imagine that everything is happening so soon so yeah i'm excited and i will keep you all updated on my future pony I say pony, but I mean horse. You'll hear me say, like, future pony all the time, but I mean horse. Anyways, I'll keep you updated. Uh, what? I'll keep you updated. Okay, hi everyone, it's me again. Sorry, I'm, like, under a blanket, but, um, a little update for the horse shopping. So, yesterday morning at around 6 a.m., my trainer sent me this beautiful three-year-old gelding um and it's an off the track thoroughbred and we he seemed like a really good fit for me he's super duper cute and i really hope it works out but um 
my trainer messaged the person selling him and we're still waiting to hear back so yesterday was may 19th um and today or no yesterday was may 18th today is may 19th um so we're still waiting to hear back it might take a few days um because horse people obviously are busy but i'm trying to really like be optimistic and keep my hopes up for all horse options but this horse is literally perfect and i really want him to be mine so we'll see okay so sorry i look like a wreck um i'm currently in the process of moving i literally have been cleaning all day and packing my apartment so i've been sweating a ton but i'm so excited i'm literally shaking um my trainer just got back to me about the horse that um we like inquired about i like, can't even talk i'm so excited um and we're pretty sure he's still available and the person she asked like a couple questions about the horse um and it seems like a suitable fit so i told my trainer to tell the person that i would take him so i'm waiting for like a couple more minutes um i'm waiting for confirmation that she like is like okay like you can take him and like get the shipping i've gotta like wait for the whole process and everything but i think i just like am about to buy a horse I um, okay okay I'll keep you all updated I've gotta go finish packing and cleaning my apartment but oh my god okay so it's currently Saturday May 21st I think um and just a little update so my trainer messaged the person that like it was advertising the horse for sale and let her know that I would take him and so my trainer just messaged me to message the person selling him so that I can figure out shipping cost and like the official payment. So I'm buying this horse. Ah, this is so weird. I'll keep you updated. It'll probably take a while for her to respond because obviously horse people are pretty busy and like this is run through like an organization that does off the track thoroughbreds and getting them in like second homes basically. So I'm not surprised if her inbox is like filled with a bunch of messages. So it might take a while, but it's currently like 10.30 I think. So we'll see, I'm so excited. Okay, so it's currently 12 p.m. on May 21st of 2022 and I officially just sent the payment to buy the horse. That's crazy! Oh my god, I, I feel like it's not hitting me yet. Like, it's, it's hitting me, but it's not hitting me. Everything just, it happened so quickly and I'm so excited to meet him. He's so perfect. And it is the three-year-old gelding that I ended up talking about earlier. So we really manifested that, but I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. So I'm figuring out with the person who's selling him now, um, shipping to get him here, but he's only a couple states. I think honestly, like one or two states next to mine. So she said, usually, that her shippers are able to get them to you within the week. Oh my gosh. I have a horse. Okay, so I've taken a moment for it to like settle down, but I can't believe I just bought a horse. I don't know how to feel. I I want this vlog to be like a real honest experience I guess and I don't know like I'm excited but I'm also at the same time really content and like I don't have butterflies which is kind of shocking to me but I'm taking that as a good sign because I think it means that I made the right decision but then there's also part of me that's like oh my gosh I just bought a horse that's like a huge financial commitment and like emotional commitment which is crazy and I definitely know that it's the right thing to do. It's just kind of crazy because I worked like for years towards this and now that it's finally here, it's kind of surreal. And obviously I'm gonna question whether it's 
the right decision to go with because it's a huge commitment. So yeah, that's how I'm feeling right now. I'm super excited. I don't know. I'm also like really nervous. This is my first time like ever owning a horse or ever even i've never even leased a horse so this is definitely going to be a journey and an adventure but i'm excited to go on it and i'm excited for the horse he seems like a really good fit and i'm so excited to meet him i also am pretty sure that i have a name picked out for him but i don't want to reveal it yet in case he gets here and it just like doesn't fit him so we'll see but yeah that's the current update of how i'm feeling right now I don't know. This is crazy. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't even have words anymore, but I'll keep you all updated. Okay. Hi everyone. So obviously it's been a few days. I'm in a totally different location. Um, I moved home for context, but basically today's Tuesday, May 24th. So exactly a week from when I started the whole like talking to my trainer and started the whole process so it's all it happened pretty quickly i feel like a lot has happened within the week but um also sorry if i sound like kind of congested it's the morning time and my allergies have been really bad so I'm just, i feel like i've said that a lot in this video but anyways so um it's been about a week i bought the horse already i keep wanting to say his name but we're gonna do a whole like thing about that so anyway so i bought the horse already but the person that I'm buying him from, it's been a little bit complicated because it's from like an off the track thoroughbred business, but the person who runs it is having a baby soon. So obviously she's a little bit preoccupied, which I totally understand. So it's taken like a little bit, but she just sent over the bill of sale. So I'm about to sign it and then I will officially be the horse owner. Like I already am because I sent the money, but this will be like the official like ownership paper. I'm about to do that. I just sent it. So he's officially mine. It's also nice because I just found out his racing name. So I'm gonna go in Google and try and find his like, racing records and his parents and everything and find out his birthday. Okay, hi everyone. So a little bit of an update about what's been going on with my whole buying a horse situation so i got really lucky that buying the horse wasn't like i wouldn't say it was hard it was pretty easy but um it's currently june 11th um and my horse was supposed to get here today and i'm gonna explain the whole situation so many of you are probably like oh my gosh but you bought him may 21st like why is it taking so long so originally um i just thought the hold up was that like shippers weren't available and the woman that i bought him from was trying to figure it out she was also having a baby in the process but it turns out she did she had found a shipper but then something happened with that shipper when he was going to pick up my horse to bring him here and then that was never communicated to her so he never picked up my horse but she thought that my horse had already been shipped so for like a few weeks there was like no contact because she thought the horse had been shipped and I thought that I was just waiting to hear from her about the shipping. So I reached out to her last Sunday, so last week, and I was like, hey, I just want to check in and see if there's any like shipping updates about what's going on. And she was like, I thought he already shipped. And my heart literally sank. I was like, what? Like, does someone else have my horse right now? Like, what? Um, and then we ended up finding out that it was just like a miscommunication and we ended up finding, like, finding out what was going on with the shipper. So then, um, like I said, he's just been sitting at the track for two weeks now because um, we were just trying to get him shipped to me. And so then all of a sudden, I was also out of town at this point. So all of a sudden, there's this big push to get him to me and like figure out shipping. And I was like, well, my trainer can come and get him next weekend. And she was like, no, like we want to get him out. Um, so that they have room for like other horses at the track so they wanted to get them out to me pretty soon but like i said i was out of town so all this rush was happening it was super stressful and then so finally we figured out a shipper that was like in the price range um that she quoted me for and he's gonna get shipped here so i've been in contact with that shipper um 
today and I was like, so, so I texted that shipper today and I was like, hi, I just want to like get an update on the timeline. He was supposed to be here tonight, like at dinner. And she was like, hi, like, I, I'm so sorry, I totally forgot to get back to you. He's actually going to be here tomorrow, like late tomorrow because they got held up, um, off schedule and ended up being a day late. So I was like, okay, no worries. So that happens, I'm like waiting. And um, I also got back into town today. So I was like rushing and pushing everything forward so that I could make sure that I was gonna be there on time. And then that happened and I was like, well, kind of sucks because I rushed to get back and then he's not gonna be here until tomorrow. But then I get a call from that shipper. She was like, hi, I'm so sorry. Like, and she was super duper nice. Everyone's been really nice about like through the whole process. It's just been like kind of stressful. So that shipper called me and I was like, oh no, like my heart was like, oh, please let this be good news. Um, and she was like, hi, I just wanted to let you know, like I made a mistake and I only have a six horse um, trailer and I accidentally like counted the route out for seven horses because she was picking two horses up at one stop instead of one. And she was like, I'm so sorry. Like, um, so I'm not gonna be the one picking your horse up but my friend is gonna do it and like he's on the same route and he'll be there. He's like the same cost and same um, route. So he'll be there at the same time and everything. And I was like, okay, no worries. Like as long as he's getting here and everything. So that's the latest update. Um, he's supposed to get here tomorrow, which is June 12th, fingers crossed. I, I'm taking everything with a grain of salt because like I said, the horse buying process hasn't been that difficult. It's just the shipping process that has kind of been stressful and difficult. So yeah, there's been a lot of tears, um, a lot of stress. I've definitely been getting more anxious too as time gets like closer to him getting here, especially because there was this big rush to get him here. And I was like, oh my goodness, am I prepared and everything? But everyone's been super helpful and like making sure that he's safe and like getting here. And at the end of the day, like regardless of how he gets here, as long as he gets here safely, um, and soon, then I'm okay with it. So that's my latest update. It's been a while since I've done the last update. So yeah, um, he's scheduled to get here tomorrow, which is Sunday evening, like really late tomorrow, probably like midnight on Sunday. So technically Monday. Um, so that's gonna be interesting because I work on Monday morning, but it's okay, we'll figure it out. Um, yeah, I will keep you updated and hopefully the next update is either in my car or at the barn or before I go to the barn to go get him. So I'll see you then. Okay, hi everyone. Um, I hope you can hear me because I kind of have to whisper to be quiet. So today is June 12th. It's 11 p.m., which is why I'm whispering. Um, but long story short, my horse is on route to my barn and he's going to be arriving at 12.20. So I'm going to head out now because it's about an hour's drive to my barn, 45 minutes on a good day, which probably tonight it'll be fine because no one is out on a Sunday at 11 p.m. where I live. So yeah um i'm feeling pretty excited i'm also like incredibly nervous like a tiny part of me wants to cry and i don't know if i want to cry because like i'm happy and excited or like really nervous because like this is a huge commitment i think it's a little bit of everything i don't really think it has hit me yet i mean i definitely think i'll cry at some point in the night <laughs> but yeah um so i'm gonna head out and i will keep you all updated so excited I just got to the barn it's literally so pitch black though that you can't see anything so yeah that's my update um he should be here in a few minutes so I'm just waiting in my car until then okay good morning so today is June 13th 2022 i almost said 2001 um it's day one of owning my horse and i want to be transparent about the whole situation um so yesterday when he arrived i'm not gonna lie like i was so nervous um and for those of you that don't know um i have panic disorder so that's not a great thing to have in these situations and 
on the drive home, I ended up having like the worst panic attack that I've had in a really long time just because it's a huge commitment and I'm really nervous, but I'm taking everything as a lesson and I'm taking that lesson as to take things every, like, every step like one day at a time. He got like there like safely and started eating right away, so he was doing really well. Um, I'm just nervous because like this is kind of like starting something that I guess like I knew was happening but it never became real until it was right there and then there was like, oh, there's no going back, like this is gonna be a lot, but I'm excited for it. I think it's just gonna take a few days for me to like settle into it and I want to be transparent about it all in case anyone else feels like this when I get a horse too. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head to the barn this morning and do some grooming and hand walking and just kind of get to know each other to take things slow and I'll take you all along with me. So I did get his ownership papers yesterday, so that was exciting. He's eating. Hmm. Hmm. What are you doing? Hi everyone, so today is June 15th, 2022, um, and here's another little update. So this is something that I really want to include in this vlog because, like I said, I've always wanted to be extremely transparent about this whole process and especially for people going through similar experiences that I am. Um, and so I want to include this in the vlog and really talk about it, but um, I'm sure some of you can tell that my eyes are pretty red, and that's because there's been a lot, and I mean a lot, of tears um, and a lot of anxiety with being a new horse owner. And I would just say it's, it's not what people explain it to be. And I really hope that it takes like a turning point, but I will be 100% honest when I say that I have been so, so anxious and so just really overwhelmed with the whole thing. Um, and there hasn't been a ton of excitement or joy in it. Of course, I'm happy that I have the opportunity to be a horse owner, but I think I've been so caught up in just the anxiety of everything being so new that it's been exhausting to me. So I took today um, to not go to the barn and I reached out to my trainer, which I'm actually really grateful that I did because we had a really long like text talk. And she just really reassured me that it's okay to take it slow, especially because he's a baby horse. And it's okay to feel anxious and it's normal to feel like cold feet and feel like I want to back out of it. And she just like really reassured me that she supports me in whatever I choose to do, if that's keeping him, selling him anything. And I think I really, really, really needed that as a turning point because I have been so overwhelmed and just not enjoying the experience like I thought I would. So we're gonna take the rest of the week just to kind of calm down and then I'm gonna go back to the barn at the weekend and just take it really really slow because I think I am going in with too many expectations and it's not fair to me and it's not fair to my horse. So that's the update for today. Um, and I will keep you all updated. I'm at a stoplight so we don't have much time to talk about this but I'm on my way home from the barn and I just want to say that it was a really really good day and my horse I'm still waiting to do a name reveal um, lunch for the first time and I'm so excited to share it with you
Okay, hi everyone. So I'm actually gonna be ending this video here. Um, I just got out of the shower after earlier when I went to the barn and had a really good day with my horse. And I figured what better way than to end this video than to officially introduce who my horse is and his name. So without further ado, I would like to tell you all that my horse's name is Picasso, aka Pico. So I picked this name and I'll probably pick, talk about this in a different video because um, I don't want to make this one super long because it's already super long. But I picked this name because it was just a name that I thought was super duper cute and I wanted him to have like a long name but I also wanted him to have like a shortened name because I like two syllable names like Pico is just super easy to say. So I went with that but also I feel like it's really fitting because especially over the week like I have realized that this process is truly like a work of art and Picasso himself is truly a work of art like he is such a special horse and I'm so excited and I'm really grateful that I got to share this with all of you and I'm really privileged to have this platform so I'm super excited about the future with him and I'm really glad that I got to show kind of the whole ups and downs of the first week of being a first time horse owner. I feel like a lot of people only talk about the excitement of it, but I wanted to show like the whole process, all my feelings, kind of for me to see in the future, but also for all of you. Um, and I'm so glad that I have gotten to be on this journey with all of you for the past two years, which is crazy. You all have watched me talk about this, say for this, doubt myself on this and wonder, and it's just kind of cool to look back and think that it's all happening now and Picasso is home and I'm so excited. So I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you for being a part of this journey. I'm so happy to have a family like this and a platform like this and I'm so excited to share my horse with all of you and if you are watching this video um, I also just wanted to make this because I want you to know that it's possible and it's always possible to make any of your dreams come true. I mean like I said all of you have watched me start from the bottom up for <laughs> saving for a horse and making this dream become a reality so if you are watching this and you are someone who's hoping to own a horse in the future it is so possible you just have to put your mind to it and really set your goals and set your dreams and turn those dreams into a reality it takes a lot of work but i can fully say that even one week into it i'm so glad and it's already taught me so much in this one week so you can absolutely do it and it's never too early to start so even if you're just a youngin, it's okay. You can start then, you can start when you're older. It's never too late to get into it. It's never too late to start. So yeah, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. So thank you all so much for coming along on my horse buying journey. I know many of you have waited for this video, so I'm so happy to finally post it and share it with all of you. And there will be more IRL videos in the future of Pico and I and our progress and yeah, so without further ado, thank you so much for watching, and as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It's so weird to like talk like this and not with my headset on the game, but anyways, um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. I love you. Bye!